Today's a gear review, so we're talking about the Decathlon 4 Class Trek 700 uh, sleeping pad, the XL version. There is a normal version. This is the white one. I wanted a bigger one, that's why I went for this one. So I only tried this one three times so far, but it was great for the three times that I tried it. It's a sleeping pad that is good for summer or warm weather because it's good up to 8 degrees Celsius and over, so 46 degrees Fahrenheit and up. It's very affordable. At the moment on Decathlon websites, it's $65 Canadian. Uh, that's why I went for it because I wanted a wide sleeping pad because most of my sleeping pad that I have are 20 inches wide. So my, if I'm sleeping on my back, my elbows are reaching the ground. So I'm not a big fan and when you go for the XL version on the expensive pads like the Uberlite or the Extern, all these ones from Termarest or Nemo or whatever, you will pay the price. So for an X large at $65 Canadian, that was worth it. And so I wanted to try it. So it is a bit bulky. If you want to keep it in the bag, I don't use the bags. I usually fold it and put it as a like back panel in the back of my bag, or I will just fold it at the bottom and just, you know, I, I don't kind of roll them anymore. I think it's you're losing time. But if you want to roll it, it will be 11 inch long by four wide. It's still not as big as many on the market and it's 600 gram 20 ounces and if you take off the bag you may be losing half an ounce maybe i don't know but it is not the heaviest and i think for a wide sleeping pad you get something pretty cool and very comfortable for the press and it's made in a fabric that is actually pretty thick so uh, very similar to the climate kind of uh, texture and not as thin as the Ubalite would be. So we're going to open it up. You know, actually it's not one that is very hard to put back into the bag. I found that it's pretty easy, but I don't use it much. Like I said, I'm not a big kind of uh, roll in and packing. So when you open it up, You have two colors, you have the gray on the back and you have the yellow in the front. So it's pretty big and what you get, you also get like a, a, like a texture uh, pattern in the front like you can see and this is for you uh, to prevent you from rolling off of it. So it's like a bit like grippy. It's like a kind of a rubbery texture and it keeps your sleeping bag centered. Maybe they should have put some on the back also so you don't move in the tent. But other than that, it's pretty cool. You get two valves like this. So it's very, very easy to work and they, they make it very simple. You they, they write on it like I'll show you. They write out and in and you get a tabs and two different tabs to pull it so you don't even have to struggle to open them up. Very, very easy. What I like about these system, uh, this pad will deflate super fast, like super fast. And the inflate uh, valve has an um, anti-return in it. So when you blow, you don't lose air. So it makes it so much easier. My Ubalite doesn't have it. And you know, you have to stop and struggle with the, the, the thing to, to screw it up so you don't lose the air that you just work to put in. This, you don't have to struggle at all. And it's not that long to blow up. So you get the in and the out with the little helpers. And when you get the in, you have the thing so the hair doesn't go out when you blow, which is really, really nice. So when you pull on this one, it will deflate really, really fast. There you go. 
So I'll show you what it is when it's all open because it's pretty big. It's pretty large, you know. Gonna shut it out. Also, this pad, because it can be shaped like a banana, it's a good pad for hammock camping because it will fit and, you know, be around you more than a flat mat. So this would be very interesting and it's, like you see, it's pretty big. Well, I'm not that big, but I'm 5'8 and you can see it's way bigger than me. Way more than I need, actually. I have wide shoulders. My elbows are not touching the ground when I'm laying like this. So I can, I'm not feeling the ground, which is pretty nice because most I am. Like I'm going like this. This one I don't touch. And it's very comfortable. I don't have any issues with it. And I fit in every ways. You don't feel the ground. It's really nice to be on your side too. You have lots of space. This is not an issue. So it is a comfortable pad and it's big enough. So for a 23 inches wide pad at 65 bucks, I think that's a deal. So when you deflate it, you fold it in half, you roll it, and then you fold it another time, so three times, and then you roll it again, and it will become like this. Very simple roll, and you take the bag, and you will slide it in. Not a big deal if you want to roll it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching.